Hello there, my beautiful people. It is your boy, Enrique Falcon, and welcome to the third episode of my Mega Man 2 series. Last time we took on Air Man, and in this episode, I'm gonna take on Metal Man. Metal Man is actually pretty easy. He's not as easy as uh, the last two, Bubble Man and Air Man, but that's mainly because of his stage. As a boss, he's pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. So let me walk you through the stage. Get over here for an energy tank, you're really gonna wanna need this because, trust me, Metal Man, as easy as he is, he does deal out a decent amount of damage when he attacks, so you might wanna save up your uh, energy. So, just gotta get past these uh, conveyor belts, they basically can reject you going forward or backward. Really annoying when it comes to these spike type puzzles. Just uh, wait for them to pop up, but don't wait too long, otherwise they're gonna clamp on you. Then these things, these things are good if you're running low on health, because you can just attack them until they give you either... Uh, I, I don't know the name for that blue thing that gives you more energy for your powers, but um, just wait for the energy ball to pop up if you need it. Yeah, that thing that just popped up. So they're not really that hard, just don't take too many hits from them, that's my one thing. <laughs> That, that should be the advice for anything in this game. Don't take too many hits from anything. Oh, this part. This part's wonderful. Hop up. Just keep on going. And time, you have to time your jumps kind of well in this level. Otherwise, you're going to fall. And you could get that one up. But really, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to get that one up. Because, you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> So hop up here, get some momentum. Okay, these guys are annoying. Just shoot the thing and then shoot them really fast to get some health. Kind of useful. Then again, kind of annoying at the same time. So, you know. Oh, come on. I don't want to fall. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that's what I mean by timing jumps. You got to be really careful. And he hit me and then I... Basically, like, he never even hit me. <laughs> Jump, jump, oh, there we go, oh, oh, no, not this part, this part's annoying, no, 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 to kill those things, to kill these things, you gotta shoot them in the middle of the head, so you gotta time your jump well, and right here, this is quite possibly one of the most annoying jumps in the game, but, you know, I'm not gonna risk it, so use item two, this is another recommendation to follow the uh, pattern I take on the bosses, because literally, you can just use item two to not risk anything, and look, right here, so here we go. Once again, make sure to have the energy tank before taking on Metal Man, otherwise this fight isn't going to go in your favor necessarily, unless you're at full health, to be honest. Though even then, you might have a slim chance, so here we go. Metal Man, let's go. Okay, basic strategy is you gotta keep on shooting Metal Man. No real strategy, you just gotta spam him. Make, uh, there is a way to dodge his, um, things. You gotta figure out his pattern see usually like you can just jump in between them things of that nature and oh boy I'm about to die so this is around the point you want to use your energy tank you don't want to use it too early you want to use it when you're on the verge of death but even though that's kind of risky but there we go there's metal man he's like I said not that hard he does deal a fair amount of damage and his stage it can be annoying if you're not prepared for it so that's metal man for you I suppose and now we're gonna get his uh, power, which is basically the uh, metal blade. Yeah, the metal blade. <laughs> I was gonna describe it as like circular things, but basically you can use them to fight Quick Man, I think. Yeah, Quick Man. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video.